out. We have some exclusive information now. News 4's investigative reporter Craig Cheatham is on the phone with more on the autopsy conducted in St. Louis County. Craig? Robin, uh, News 4 Investigates has just confirmed following an exclusive telephone interview with Dr. Mary Case, the medical examiner for St. Louis County, that the official cause of death for Mike Brown was, quote, gunshot wounds to the head and chest. Today we heard from uh, the, uh, the results of a preliminary autopsy connected with Brown's family that it appeared that the fatal shot was to Mike Brown's head. But what Dr. Case told me is that the county autopsy showed that there were fatal wounds to both his head and chest, and she said that it is possible that he could have died even if he wasn't shot in the head. We are trying to get more information about the county autopsy, which is now uh, in the possession of County Prosecutor Bob McCullough. She says that uh, more information will have to be released by the county prosecutor. She was not comfortable talking about how many bullet wounds uh, she found in Mike Brown's body or whether or not there was any evidence that he had used illegal drugs. So we will try to get in touch with the prosecutor's office next and see if uh, Prosecutor McCullough will share more details about the county's autopsy. Reporting live in Ferguson, Craig Cheatham, News 4. All right, and of course, we'll continue to follow up on any information we can gain, as uh, Craig Cheatham has been doing from the county, yes, reference well. their autopsy. She is well. live with a report from today's news conference and the release of a private autopsy of Michael Brown's body. That's right, Robin. We are at the Greater St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church. You can see that podium, kind of the staging area behind me. This has become a sort of gathering place for some of the outside faces that have come to St. Louis and become part of this story. Reverend Al Sharpton spoke here. Of course, Benjamin Crump, who is now the family attorney for Michael Brown's parents and family. And then today, Crump brought with him Dr. Michael Bodden, who performed the second autopsy on Michael Brown since his death last Saturday. Trump said that part of why this was so important to the family was that because there is a sense of deep mistrust of St. Louis County and how they will handle that information from their own autopsy. Dr. Bodden said the big question for him and the one that came from Michael Brown's mother was did her child suffer? His answer to that was no, he did not. He did explain to the media, to the crowd that was gathered here, that Michael Brown was shot six times, two of those times in the head. The fatal wound would have been the one that hit Michael Brown in the top of the skull. They did stress that they cannot determine the order of those gunshots. Still a very emotional response from the crowd. Some people crying out in different parts of this press conference. But I want you to listen into what happened after that that actually drew cheers from the crowd. With that being said, and all of us here know what happened to Michael, why has Mr. the officer Wilson been arrested? He would have survived. He would be here with us today had he not been shot in the head twice. That woman you just saw on your screen, she's actually the one that asked that question to the doctor, to Attorney Crump this morning. She also reiterated the idea of no justice, no peace. I asked her what that would take, what exactly does justice mean to her, and she looked at the camera and she said, speaking directly to Prosecutor Bob McCullough, saying, do the right thing and arrest that officer who shot Michael Brown. So some high emotions here today, not so much new information, but definitely more detail coming out about that autopsy of Michael Brown. Robin, back to you. Thanks. That's Emily Rao reporting live in Ferguson now.